Uh, Mel Leon is a Labour MP in the UK and she's calling for wolf whistling to be classified as an act of misogyny and punishable as a hate crime. Um, what do you think about this? Well, joining us to give us her opinions on the issue is Dr Joanna Williams. Um, uh, Joanna, is, is this over the top or is it, is it a, a reasonable reaction uh, to you know, something that's pretty unpleasant when it happens to women? Well, I think it's over the top, but also I wouldn't go so far as to say it's something pretty unpleasant. Uh, Wolf whistling's on its way out. I mean, you see a few relics continue to wolf whistle women in the street, but it's few and far between. Most building companies nowadays have uh, regulations outlawing um, wolf whistling members of staff. People are actually not allowed to do this. They get into trouble if they do. So it's not. Uh, do, does it not happen anymore? I, I, I worked. I remember working on the building site in London uh, in in the summer of 1990, and I could not believe the amount of wolf whistling that went on with guys I, I worked with. Uh, literally, any time a woman walked by, it, it would happen. Are those days over? I'm not saying it never happens, but I think it's overstated. I definitely think it's overstated. And I think when it does happen, actually, you know what? Women can cope with it. Sometimes, dare you say it, it even puts a smile on your face and a spring in your step. Are you allowed to say things like that anymore? (laughs) Well, do you know what? I do. (laughs) I think it can. It can make you smile, and that's one way to deal with it. Certainly, you don't need to run away and quiver and faint in the corner. Women are a lot tougher than Melanie on makes out. A wolf whistle is not the worst thing that can ever happen to you. And the idea that police time and attention should be spent rounding up random wolf whistlers, to me, is the biggest insult in all of this.